and welcome to the marketing enthusiasts it's time for another exciting round of latest news and insights of this week from the ever evolving world of seo and digital marketing i'm your host tosif and today we have got a fascinating lineup of stories that are sure to keep you on the cutting edge of industry trends so let's dive right in hold on to your keyboards folks we have got a soup better hotter than a jalapeno in the middle of july eric lehman a former google guru with a whopping 17 years of search experience spilled the beans during an antitrust hearing from role please google does use click data for rankings in a surprising turn of events eric lehman a former google employee with 17 years of experience in search quality and ranking testified during ongoing antitrust hearings in the usa that google indeed utilizes click data for its search result rankings this revelation contradicts google's previous public denials on the matter to compound the situation google had allegedly inter- instructed its employees to withhold confirmation of this practice to prevent seos from exploiting this knowledge for manipulating search results this disclosure not only raises questions about google's ranking methodology but also highlights the challenges potential competitors face in entering the search engine market due to google's massive user click data advantage i mean talk about seo bombshell google had been sneaky about this one instructing employees to zip their lips but eric's testimony blew the lid wide open and the big question is how's this going to shake up the seo game all right friends google's been tidying up its search results like it's preparing for a visit from the king of england gary elias spilled the beans that they are ditching how to and faq research results and we talked about this in our last week's seo update video as well do check it out by going to our channel and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as well In a recent update Google's Gary Elias has shed light on the company's ongoing efforts to streamline search results contrary to speculations that the removal of SERP features like how to and FAQ rich results was linked to the Google search generative experience powered by AI Elias clarified that the objective is to enhance the cleanliness of search results this move allows Google to explore new possibilities he emphasized Google's strategy of eliminating SERP features that users seldom engage with as evidenced by the recent removal of how to and faq rich results along with reduced visibility for faq rich results elias highlighted that google's vision is evolving beyond the traditional 10 blue links model that has characterized search results for uh, the past 25 years however he cautioned seos against over committing to new search features advising them to maintain a reliance on content quality and relevance the key takeaway is that google is active actively simplifying search results to provide cleaner and more user friendly experiences seos should keep a close eye on further changes in serp features throughout the year while also focusing on creating original valuable content that best trust and authority in their respective niches now let's spill the tea from gary elias recent ask me anything session the man dropped 15 seo insights that are juicier than a ripe watermelon Here are the highlights. The first one is Google uses user click data in ranking thanks to historical search data. Google frequently makes changes in search ranking, emphasizing the ever evolving nature of search algorithms. Elias explained the distinctions between factors, signals and ranking systems. And then Google doesn't index everything due to vastness of the internet. The fifth one is labeling AI generated content is unnecessary for Google, but it can be useful for users. Sixth, AI-generated content typically lacks typos because computers follow instructions. Now, seventh, niche sites may not benefit from Google's focus on helpful content, especially if they are overly monetized. Eighth, Google recommends addressing issues promptly after a core update rather than waiting. Ninth, comments on websites can signal an active community, potentially boosting trust. Oh, tenth, Google will release updates during the holidays to prevent manipulation of search results. Eleven core web vitals are essential for site optimization, but not a priority for all sites. Twelfth, voice data won't be added to Google Search Console due to technical complexities. Thirteen, expired domains are not transferred to new domain owners. Fourteen, proper use of hashtags improves accessibility, but don't rely solely on them. Fifteen, Elias believes the importance of links in ranking is overestimated, with content remaining the top ranking signal. These insights offer a glimpse into Google's approach to ranking and provide valuable guidance for SEO practitioners. From using user click data to the overestimated importance of links in ranking, Gary gave us backstage pass to Google's ranking circus. But remember folks, content is still king, so keep that crown polished, SEO royalty. Now, Microsoft's been making moves too, giving publishers some extra muscle. 
they have introduced meta tags that let webmasters control content in Bing chat. Microsoft has introduced no meta tag options for webmasters to exercise more control over content us usage in Bing chat. It's AI powered chatbot feature. This uh, move comes in response to concerns raised by publishers regarding the use of their content without permission. Webmasters can now utilize meta tags like no cache and no archive to limit or block their content from appearing in Bing chat responses or being used to train Microsoft's AI models. Despite these restrictions, the content will continue to be accessible through regular Bing search results. Microsoft aims to maintain open communication with publishers and the web ecosystem as it works on future AI standards and encourages publishers to read its documentation on meta tags for further details. The initiative demonstrates Microsoft's commitment to addressing publisher concerns by balancing the need of innovation in AI-powered search. No more worries about your content running wild without permission. These tags are like a digital leash for your content, ensuring it behaves in Bing chat. Kudos to Microsoft for keeping the peace in the wild west of content. Our pals at uh, over at Wix are making waves too. They have teamed up with Index now to give premium Wix users the ultimate SEO power up. Wix, the cloud based web development platform, has integrated Index now, allowing millions of premium Wix site users to swiftly notify search engines of content changes. This streamlines SEO efforts without requiring action from site owners or SEO experts. Index now supported by major search engines offers a standardized method for content updates, ensuring rapid indexing and improved search visibility. Over 60 million websites already use Index now with 1.4 billion URLs submitted daily. Wix's adoption of Index now enhances its users' SEO capabilities, aligning with its commitment to provide effortless SEO solutions. And in a big bombshell, they are saying goodbye to disavow links. Links feature this October. Bing's upgraded its AI game and now it can tell the good links from the bad ones all on its own. So long manual link disavowals. It's a new era in Bing town, my friends. Bing Webmaster Tools will remove its disavow links feature and API in October 2023. The decision is part of Bing's efforts to enhance user experience and streamline services. Initially introduced in 2012, the disavow links feature allowed website owners to specify which incoming links should not influence Bing's assessment of this site's quality and relevance. Bing now relies on advanced artificial intelligence to automatically distinguish between natural and unnatural links, eliminating the need for manual link disavowal. Webmasters are urged to continue adhering to Bing's link-related abuse guidelines to avoid potential delisting from Bing's index. The company will maintain its bank link report feature to provide valuable insights into link profiles. But wait, there's more from Bing. They have quietly introduced a new sitemap index coverage report as well. Bing has quietly introduced a new sitemap index coverage report in Bing Webmaster Tools, offering insights into the status of submitted and discovered sitemaps, their crawl dates, and more. The report provides a breakdown of URLs indexing status and helps webmasters ensuring Bing is informed about relevant sitemaps. It also consists in identifying and fixing issues with sitemaps, ultimately improving indexing rates and traffic from Bing search. The feature was rolled out without formal announcement but aims to enhance user experience and streamline services. It's like having your own personal detective for your sitemaps. Keep being in informed and improve your site's index coverage. A win-win for all. Google's got some style tips for you, web developers. They are saying no more dressing up CSS pseudo elements with meaningful co content. Turns out Google won't index it and they want those elements reserved for decorative purposes only. So save your fancy con content for the main stage folks. Google has recommended that website developers refrain from adding meaningful content or symbols using CSS pseudo elements like uh, before or after, as much content as such content may not be used for indexing web pages. While this advice is not a change in how Google's search functions, it has been newly mentioned in Google's documentation. The search engine giant clarified that Google search may not index content inside CSS content properties, emphasizing that these elements should be reserved for decorative purposes. This update aims to guide developers in optimizing the web content for better indexing and accessibility. And in a recent podcast, Google's John Mueller and Gary Elias dropped some knowledge bombs. Quality content is the VIP guest in Google's indexing party. In a recent search of the record podcast, Google's John Mueller and Gary Elias discussed the paramount importance of content quality in various aspects of search, from calling, crawling and indexing to ranking. While quality content does not guarantee top rankings, it significantly impacts how Google interacts with websites. Quality signals are used to prioritize URLs for crawling. 
with an emphasis with an emphasis on quality quality's role in indexing decisions the variability of quality across different parts of a website was also highlighted with an emphasis on the potential for improvement by rem- removing low quality content, content the discussion clarified misconceptions about duplicate content affiliate links and translated content underlining the importance of valuable unique content for enhancing a site's standing in search remember quality is not just for show is the ticket to getting google's attention and elevating your site status so keep it classy as your charms microsoft advertising is embracing the digital video revolution they are bringing video and cctv ads right to your screen lights camera advertising action microsoft advertising has introduced video and connected tv cctv ads on its platform to tap into the growing digital video landscape with people expected to spend an average of 3.5 hours daily on digital video by 2024 this move allows your advertisers to create video and CTV campaigns directly through Microsoft's advertising platform. The platform leverages billions of first-party data points for precise audience targeting, including user activity from Bing, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft Start, and more. Machine learning algorithms help create hyper-targeted audience, and ad spending in this sector is forecasted, forecasted to increase significantly. The user-friendly system facilita- facilitates quick campaign la- launches, making it a comprehensive data-driven tool for audience engagement. With precise audience targeting and AI-powered magic, Microsoft's making it rain for advertisers in the digital video landscape. Get ready for your close-up. Hold on to your digital hats, folks. Microsoft Advertising is taking us on a wild ride through the world of AI-powered advertising like never before. Microsoft Advertising has unveiled three new generative AI solutions aimed at transforming how users interact with search engines and online ads. The new features include compare and decide ads, which streamline retail, travel, and auto advertising by allowing users to evaluate options based on selected criteria. Microsoft has also introduced Ads for Chat API with Snapchat's My AI Chatbot and Access Springer's Hey as the first partners to implement this advertising solutions. Furthermore, the Copilot for Microsoft Advertising offers intelligent AI assistance to streamline advertising efforts by providing recommendations for images, headlines, and descriptions. These innovations uh, signify significant progress in enhancing user experiences and targeting effectiveness in the advertising industry. Alright, praise yourselves advertisers. Google Ads is unleashing a policy update on November 21, 2023 and they mean business. Google Ads is introducing a policy update on November 21, 2023 to strengthen its misrepresentation policy. The update will address issues related to the non-fulfillment of a product or service due to a lack of qualifications by moving such violations to the unacceptable business pr- practices policy. Violators of the new policy may face immediate account suspicion without prior warning. The misrepresentation policy aims to prevent deceptive advertising practices, while the unacceptable businesses practices, uh, business practices policy prohibits impersonation and deceptive tactics. Advertisers accused of policy violations can appeal and provide their perspective. Adherence to these policies is essential for maintaining trust and transparency in advertising on Google Ads. But hey, if you find yourself in hot water, there's room for redemption. Advertisers accused of policy violations can appeal and plead their case. So remember, honesty is the best policy in the world of Google Ads. Play by the rules and you'll stay in the game. Hold on to your keyboards, digital pioneers, because Google Ads is unleashing AI awesomeness like never before. Google Ads has unveiled updates to its generative AI features focusing on expanding automatically created assets and introducing a conversational experience powered by large language models. The expansion of automatically created assets now includes seven additional languages, allowing tailored headlines and descriptions generation based on ad context. Beta testing for the conversational experience currently available in the US and UK enables advertisers to have natural language conversations with Google Ads for campaign element generation. These AI-powered features aim to automate and streamline the advertising workflow, offering more efficiency and personalization for advertisers. Google plans to refine and improve these tools based on user feedback in the coming months. These AI-powered features are all about making your advertising life easier, more efficient and personalized to the max. So get ready to ride the AI wave because Google's got more awesomeness coming your way and they are fine-tuning it based on your feedback. Stay awesome advertisers. And there you have it folks a whirlwind tour of the most intriguing developments in the world of SEO and digital marketing. We have explored revelations about Google's ranking methods, discussed Microsoft's efforts to empower publishers and delved into the world of generative AI and advertising. It's clear that our industry is constantly evolving and staying informed is the key to success. 
We hope you have found these updates as exciting and insightful as we have. Remember to stay engaged, keep experimenting and always strive for excellence in your digital marketing endeavors. Until next time, this is Tausif signing off. Happy marketing!